Girl, look, Buster has two face, girl. Not bother. We're at Busted Ass Urban Decay Girl, and I freaking hate this palette so much. I know so many of you love it, but it just makes me upset, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I'm a fat bitch, okay, and I get hot, and so anything with heat just makes me really mad and angry. And the fact that I open it up, it's heat, like this just makes me feel like hot. It makes me feel like I'm in a car in the summertime, I'm just like so hot. So just like the name just already stimulates me like it triggers me that i just feel hot and i'm like i hate being hot but you know girl they say it's nude but to me i ain't no nude because what person is that color right here you know but ain't nobody person no shimmery copper girl I ain't no nude honey I'm trying to get me my money honey that's all y'all want my money girl you ain't getting nothing glitter y'all have glitters no freaking way girl let me get a spoolie for this one i'll be right back all right, guys, so we're at Sephora. We're checking out the Benefit counter. Browsing, what is available in six shades? Let's see what it is. Okay, and then we, what is this here? 24 hour brow setter. But that's why I like, use it, you know, I just use the mascara for it. And they save you 20, $24, girl. And you have the Gimme, Gimme Brow. Sorry for the lighting in here. I'm underneath this lighting right now, but I'll move. All right, and then we have the Precise My Brow Pencil. So it's like they're all about brows. You got your 24 hour brow setter. Karina Kaboom, or Kabrow. <laughs> Gimme Brow, Goof Proof pen. I heard this was like really good though. Okay, so we're at the Becca counter. You can see me. So we have the limited edition Prismatic. Ooh, this is the one I heard so much about. Girl, I think I broke it. And then Champagne Pop, but it's, I don't think this is a new edition. Girl, look, Jack and, look at that Jaclyn Hill girl looking like a little demon girl. She's not bother. So this is the Becca Champagne Pop, but it's not the new edition. Actually, I actually bought this one and the new packaging was out, but I didn't, well, I didn't get the new packaging because I didn't have it here. I just felt like this place, because like the bottom, I think it's like the worst Sephora. Like, I love Sephora, but this location here is like the worst. It never have anything, girl. Busted ass Chrissy Teigen, girl. Anything for views. Chrissy, anything for views, Teigen. And then we got the Sunlight Bronzers. Dude, how much highlighter do you freaking need? Like, I wish I could, like, swatch them, but it seems like somebody already swatched them for me. Girl, look at that. Hold on, I'm going to zoom in right there for you. All right, girl, look at my little hand. Rawr. Okay, so we're at NARS. I think they test on animals. Do they test on animals for sure? Like, like, do is this one or is it not out yet? I don't know. So you got your busted ass radiant cream cover, thirty dollars. Nobody cares about. And you got your face primers for thirty six dollars. Really, thirty six dollars? You freaking serious, dude? And then over here, whoa, dude, look at that. That is crazy. You know what? I wish I could say that this was like shop with me at Sephora, but really it's kind of almost like look at all the busted testers, girl, and how busted they look. Okay, what is this? Somebody's been using the lipstick. I wonder how many germs are on here. Okay, so then you have this makeup right here. Oh, I really like that green. Like, I wish I could like be bold enough to swatch them, and I feel like I'll get like an infection. Like, they look so old and dirty, girl. What do we got over here? Oh my gosh, I recently just bought Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and it was the one that was on sale at Macy's. It was like $20, but originally it was like $40. And it was like the glow palette, but I only bought it for one color. They had one really good color on there. And when I get it in the mail, I'll show it to you. And um, and I saw videos about it and the lady let me, and the, la and the lady like gave me like a little scrape of it. So like, it was so weird. But I loved it so freaking much. That one glitter color and the glow. I see if I can throw it up here in the video. But I bought it for that one shade. The other ones I really care less about. But they don't have it here. Here's the Modern Renaissance. I think they're coming out with the second Modern Renaissance. But I'm not sure. See somebody came here and put on their whole makeup with this girl. And they weren't bothered at all. What's your favorite? Let me see. Okay. I wish I had that palette here. I wish I could show you. That's a really pretty purple. 
And that Manny MUA copper lid girl right there. Okay. This is the color I like a lot. This one, and I really like this one. But I really wish I could remember what I was saying because my camera just like literally just like cut off. This is the one, let me see, 100% more volume and just three strokes. We are at Mark Jacobs, girl. Girl, you know how many boys tell me it's 100% more volume and just three strokes? And it was a lie, honey. Boys be lying out. This is so pretty. I freaking love this color. Man, I wish I was like really ratchet and just like swatching everything, girl, for you. But no, girl. Let me see. So this is it. I saw these at I think TJ Maxx or Marshalls had them for like $20. They're really cool. You like them a lot. And then this is the one I was telling you about that like, sometimes like it has like when you spray it, sometimes it doesn't spray like all the way. Some of them are defective, so you gotta be careful with it. But it's $40 though. I think about picking it up, but I have to make sure that it actually works. It doesn't bust at the house. And you got some of your blushes down here because apparently blushes are in now even though not many people wear blushes but then they're not bothered so 30 dollars lipsticks you can get the same black from the cover girl katie perry collection for like six dollars girl but this is what i really wanted to see like i wanted to show you this one this one this one and this one here and my friend makeup wait, face by amira she has a very beautiful purple and um, yeah, cause I feel like purple is so in right now. You got that Junebug purple, and Jeffree Star had a purple, but I feel like I feel like this one looks pretty nice, but my friend has one that's really nice too. Not sponsored, she's just really nice though. And I have it, and I, I actually really like it. And this pink is cute, but I don't. Feel, I feel like girls always gravitate toward like these colors over here, and they're like, oh girl, I don't wanna play with the bright colors. I really wanted to try some of these. How much are these? $48. Yeah, I really want to try them, but I didn't know what my skin tone was. Maybe we're gonna put some on right now. Alright, so we're gonna try this 42 Golden Light by Marc Jacobs. We're gonna put a little bit on here, see how it looks on the skin. So hopefully it won't come out looking all busted down, girl, but we'll see about that. Because I really do like the color, but I don't know if it's going to how my skin is going to absorb it, huh? And we'll see about that, bro. Not bother, huh? And maybe, maybe I won't get kicked out this time, girl. What do you think about that? Girl, I gotta cover up that beard, honey. Look at that. Yeah, I'm trying to like show you in a different light though. I think it looks pretty, pretty good. Okay, what do you think about it? It looks very natural. I think I might pick it up and we'll see about how it looks from there. Okay, this is what I was talking about. So this is the Sephora Glow Kit. So it just opens up. I can like get it with one hand. Okay, so then you open it. Girl. And look, you can see that like somebody like clearly swatched it. And then they just put it back in there. So it's like, so some person will just come right along, pick this up, and think they're getting a new product and they kick it home and it's like swatched the house, girl. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I don't like. They don't put seals on them, so they like open. I can't stand that. I hate it so much. Oh my gosh, the glitter one. Yeah, the Snapchatting. This is the glitter one I wanted to show you. Hold on. Okay, this is the one I was talking about, the Too Faced glitter. This color right here is the only one I actually like. I went, I got like a little spoolie, and I swatched it right here on my hand. Wait, I went, I got like a little spoolie, and I swatched it here on my hand. But this is the one that came really nice. The rest of them seem kind of chalky, but. I do still overall kind of like it, but I feel like it's too, I don't know, I just thought it would be more more pigmented, but it's really not. It's kind of like a letdown on this one. But as you can see here, see how the glitter falls? It actually moves around in there. I mean, it's pretty cool, but I don't think it's worth like, what, $40 for it. Girl, look, Busta has two face girl, not bother. All right, this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is gonna be the next palette. This is gonna be the next palette I'm picking up for sure. I think I really do like it. I think I really do like it a lot. And it feels like really heavy, like really durable. And then, I already have this brush here. And that's her eyeshadow palette. It's like very neutrals, but no, you know me, girl. I like colors and stuff, so I think I'm gonna bypass that one. I asked them about these Sephora Pro palettes, but they said, that they don't have them they haven't gotten any shipments yet and the only way to get it is online so i'm definitely gonna get one of those online here's that purple girl here's that purple 
Love it so much. And then we got some more down here. I really want to buy some of these. It looks so pigmented. This is a really good one I have. It's like $32. It's a really good palette. I have it at home. I get, every time I wear it, I get so many compliments on it. I like that one a lot too. But I just want to show you some of these colors. Because so many of y'all live internationally. And y'all are like, I just love watching American shopping videos. Because we don't have some of the stores over there. Is this concealer? Oh my gosh. What is that? Pocket Edge Concealer Brush. Oh my gosh. Are you serious, dude? I seriously want to try some of these concealers. But I don't feel like getting a spoolie and trying it on. I put the camera down and all that stuff. Girl, no ma'am. This is really good. Believe me on that one. Girl, people are putting their finger in there again. So I tried that Urban Decay thing. I put it like right here. You can barely kind of see it. I mixed it in with something else, but I did not like it though. Like as soon as I put it on, I already knew I wasn't going to like it. Girl, what's Too Faced doing? You don't have my face, Too Faced. Girl, where I go? You're following me around. Anyways, girl, this is my shop with me at Sephora, and I managed not to get kicked out of the store. So I will see you later. Bye. All right, so this is Smashbox, and this is what I was talking about, okay? So co-created with Casey Holmes, right? So you see her face all done up, okay? Because I'm pretty sure she's advertising this, right? Her, this was her collection, and we talked about that her face and name was not on the actual package itself. It was, like, on the box. See her face is right there? But I feel like it's false advertising because the lips, the eyebrows, and all that stuff was not done with this. So why is her face here? You get what I'm saying? Only her highlight was done with this so if anything you should just show her highlight and y'all are so wrong for putting this picture of her she looks all busted the house okay y'all are so shady smashbox you should be ashamed of yourself and casey girl your name's not on the packaging and i told you your name needs to be on the packaging okay pr the house okay these are the new face masks they look like something you can drink but i need to go check out so I can show you all the stuff I bought in tomorrow's video. You can see my Sephora shopping haul. So, see all the stuff I get. So, stay tuned to that video as you can see what I bought. Bye.